Hello everyone and welcome to my tutorial on basic smelting for early game using Mark 1 belts and Mark 1 inserters and Mark 1 smelters. Now I just have a, have a couple um, logic stations set up uh, as I don't want to have to run and find ore patches and whatnot. But basically smelting iron ingots, copper ingots, and stone bricks all are the same. It's all one item per second to get one item out per second. The second set which we will do after we do the first is the two to one. So graphite is two to one, glass is two to one, and that is two items in for one item out. And then the silicon is a bit of a different one because that requires 10 items in to get one item out in a sense. The ratio here is actually 10 to one, and I'll show you how you set that up because it requires a lot of stone. But anyway, early game, you're going to have access to Mark 1 belts, which is 6 items per second. And you're going to have access to Mark 1 sorters, which are 1.5 trips per second grid, which are perfectly fine for using Mark 1 smelting. And then, of course, you're only going to have Mark 1 or arc smelters, um, which is at, at a 1x speed. The other ones are 2x speed, which you're not going to have to much, much later. So to get started, we're going to use iron ore for this demonstration because that's what I have in my network. You basically want to set up your smelters. Now you hit tab which cycles through how far these are. You click and you drag and you place it. And then you want to put your belts, your input belt and your output belt. And then basically we're going to hook up a store, come on now, a storage chest. And I always run three, which these are one Important five items per grid second. So this will work, I believe. Anyway, that's besides the point. So we're going to run these in. Again, you, the reason why I said it is because some people don't use chests. Other people use multiple chests. Some just run it right to like a bus or something, which I, I just do it like this. Anyway, we're going to connect it up and we're going to select our recipe which is going to be iron and we just copy paste off of this. We're going to run and get iron ore. we're going to connect it up and we're going to connect some power. And there we go. Power is cooked up. And as you see, once this gets fully saturated and once the, the smelters are saturated, once this gets up to 10, it'll just kick off to the next one. But as soon as this reaches the end, we will see that we are at a, there we go, a fully saturated belt. Now, it may skip one here and there just because of how this builds up. And again, using Mark 1 inserters, you're only going to be moving 4.5 items per second. So these three don't technically keep, can't keep up with that. If you're really a stickler about that, you can add a fourth one, um, which will end up keeping up because these are 1.5 um, trips per grid. It's just... It's, it's hard to explain. Anyway, that's how it works. So anyway, fully saturated belt. This works, again, for iron ingots, copper ingots, and also stone bricks. So, so we don't run out of everything. We're just going to pause this here. That doesn't need to run. Now, the next thing, which we actually don't have on here, which we can touch on right now, is steel. Steel is an odd one because it's basically a 3 to 3 to 1. So you need 3 iron ingots per three seconds to make one steel. Well, conveniently, iron is one per second. So if you have one iron, let's just set this up just like we did the other one. If you have one iron coming in, in three seconds, it's gonna make three. And guess what? That's exactly what steel needs. So for steel, you place your three, you place your output belt, Again, oopsies, sorry about that. And we're just going to run the output belt to here and then up. And we're just going to copy, paste this. And we're going to run our sorters from here to here and then from here to here. Select steel. Again, you copy and drag. And there we go. And let's put up some power poles. Now, the I'll cook us connect us so you can see it um, you can see it running. The issue with this though is if you remember steel takes three per second, 
or sorry, it takes three seconds, one every three seconds. So three of these is one per second. Three is one per second. So this type of array to, to fully use up one input belt of iron ore, you're only going to be getting an output of two per second. Because if you remember, this is this is a three to one. Now, the only way to saturate this belt is you triple this. And you have three input belts coming in. Then you have these can all merge into the same box. It doesn't really matter um, or into the same belt. But that's how you have to do that. Now, I'm not going to set that up because basically you're just taking, thank you, auto save, this array, doing it down here and doing it like doing it three times where they each have their own input belt of iron ore. And then you will get a fully saturated output belt at six per second. Now, again, we can just cut that off so we're not running. We have plenty of power, but still. Okay, so that's pretty easy. Iron, copper, stone, and steel. The four things that you're going to need right off the bat. Eventually, if you start spending up a mall or you set up a hub to make your different your different um, things here. For instance, your weld, your arc smeller takes iron plate, stone bricks, uh, the chips, which are made with the other thing. And they, like they're, they're both made from copper and iron, for example. And then your assembler is the same thing. And then your your belts, of course, the same thing. So you need steel. You need steel, or sorry, you need um, iron, copper, stone bricks for sure. Steel you'll use a little bit later on, but again, as soon as you start adding other assemblers and other things like that you're going to need steel. Now let's jump down to here. Let's see if we can pave a little bit more of this. We're still above a fault line, so we are good. Hopefully the sun comes up. I hate doing everything in the dark. Now to do this is basically doubling it. This is a two to two to one. So you have two inputs over two seconds to get one output, which your two inputs over two seconds is still basically one per second. So you can only put six on one machine. So instead of using my blueprint, we can just we can just do one. And the one we're going to do is actually setting up um, glass because that takes stone. But these two are exactly the same. Now, if you're running silicon base and also titanium, mind you, off of the ore itself, it's set up the same way. But since this is an early game setup, early game tutorial, you're not going to be needing, or sorry, you're not going to be getting off planet to get silicon um, or, or titanium ore. You just won't be doing it for a while. But what we can do here is I can show you how I set up to process things like glass, which again is a two to one. You basically set it up the same way as you set up the other one with one small change. That is, uh, that's a little, why does that do that? Sorry. Um, that's better. And we're going to select glass again. Glass and um, the graphite is the same. It's just I have stone in my logistics network. So that's what we're going to do. Now, if you remember, we're going to have six coming in, but that's only going to produce three going out. Well, the simple way around that is you just put, you just mirror this on this side. You do the same thing on this side. And again, you have to have a saturated belt coming in, of course. But you do it just like that. Copy, paste, and there you go. Now you will have a fully saturated. Let's put our chest in. There we go, just to put that in. And let's connect this one up to actually that one to stone. And let's connect this one, if I can grab it properly, up to stone. And uh, we'll let it run for a bit, and you'll see what happens. But still, it's a compact build. It's the same build, same space for steel, and then it's almost the same as this as far as, like, width-wise. You're just basically doubling it. Now, one thing I will mention is using Mark 1 belt at 6 items per second. The only way to saturate 6 items per second is you need to have your miners on 12 nodes combined. Now, having it being six and six or one, five and seven, that is the best way to do it instead of having one that's on nine and one on three, but you need to have 12 nodes being mined to saturate a six second or uh, a six item per second belt. 
which again, in most nodes, most um, ore nodes, which I don't have any, let's just fly over this just real quick. You can put a lot more than that. This one has three, three, and three. This one actually has nine on it. Now in the beginning, your nodes aren't as big, but you can still fit more on, or if you don't, find a node that's close by and then belt it in and have your smelting all in a central location. Again, this is for glass. This is for energetic graphite. And later on, it'll be for silicon, high purity silicon, and also for titanium. But early game, you won't have that. But you will use silicon early game for a few things. So I'm going to show you how to set that up. It is a bit um, different, so to speak. Let's look here what the recipe says. So we need two stone or two um, ore per two seconds. So basically we need one per second to feed this machine. Well, to get silicon ore from stone is 10. 10 for 10 seconds. So you need 10 machines to spit out one per second. But the problem is, is that you can't put 10 stone on one belt. So you have to split it up. And you may say, well, how does that work? Well, I'll show you. You basically take this and you're gonna go out five. And you're gonna take it, oh, we're gonna do it like this. And you're gonna do it like that. And this is gonna be your output belt, which I'm gonna show you where that goes on in a second. And you're gonna do five again, because that's your 10. That's gonna put out um, your one per second. And if you remember, we can just put that here. To make high purity silicon, you need two every two seconds, which is the same thing as one per second, um, you know, which it is. So um, let's put another input belt coming in. This may make sense more once we turn it on. That's gonna go there. This is gonna come in and that's gonna go there. And let's just get this made. Now again, you could do six and four um, because you can do six items per second. But again, doing it five and five like this is a lot um, whoops, cleaner way to do it. And is this gonna, oops, I should have stopped that. We don't need to keep running that, run all of our, our stone out. So what we're gonna do here is just take stone out to here and down and take it out again and do that and go down and connect. And we're gonna let this run. And basically what's gonna happen is these have to get fully saturated like before it'll start working because you need 10, 10 every 10 seconds, which is a long time. <laughs> But again, you're not looking to saturate a belt. You're looking to produce one per second, basically. So this belt is you know, way overkill, but there is no shorter belt. And then from this, you can just, um, well, it's just for this demonstration. We're just gonna, we'll just put it into a box. We don't really need to do anything with it because you're not gonna be able to saturate a belt. The only way to saturate a belt is to have a rig that's six times this to get six per second. But again, early game, you don't need that much silicon. You'll need it for a few items. Now, I'm not sure if it will show you in here. It will need it for, let's see, you need it for these, the microline, microcrystalline components, and also you'll need it for solar panels. Now, these are used to make processors. So you may be needing some processors early on. Um, this isn't all that it goes into. It goes into other things. Um, let's see what else it goes into. It goes into, I think it goes into these turbines. Or, we're all on one second. What does it actually go into that I'm trying to remember what it's called? Well, solar panels for one. Let's just go off of that. But the point being is it goes into these processors. Oh, I know what it is. It goes into using when you want to get your logistics up and running. If you're like me, you like to get your logistics drones and your, your planetary logistics stations. Um, up and running as quick as possible, you need to have a way to get silicon without going off planet. And this will do it. It only puts out one per second, but again, you don't need tons to achieve what you want. And especially if this you set this up right away when you start your game, you find a node of stone, you put down four miners, and there you go. And that covers everything. Talks you how to get early game silicon, glass and, and graphite, which are the same build here. Hopefully this purple isn't too bright. And then up here, your steel build, which is the only unique one that's like that. And then you have iron, iron, copper, and stone bricks, which use this array. This will saturate a belt. This won't, this won't, you know, it's just, it's just not about, it's about um, early game using. 
Anyway, that's a tutorial on this. If you have any questions or want to see more, maybe using Mark II belts, Mark II inserters, please leave it in the comments below. And remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching.